What's up everybody? Welcome to Skyrim Special Edition Tutorials. Today we're going to be showing you how to take advantage of the I'd be merchant chest glitch or uh, exploit I should say. Now there's a bunch of different merchant chests in the world that you can get access to including one right here in Whiterun but the best one in my opinion Looking is the one in here. Dawnstar. That's because it belongs to the Khajiit caravan that actually visits Dawnstar. And there's another little exploit that I'm going to show you guys when we get there that will allow you to constantly raid the Dawnstar cool. chest war, for a bunch mm. of different loot Raids, over homes, and over again without having to wait two days needs. at a time. So first things Good first, when we go to Dawnstar, I haven't been there yet on this character. Alright, so now we take the carriage to Dawnstar. Need a I can take you. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Couldn't ask for better weather. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys where this chest is located. Divine stakes gone to Dawnstar. So yeah, you run run straight through Dawnstar past the Jarl's house and the mine, and then it's right here between these rocks. You might have to crouch to be able to see it. As you can see, it's got all sorts of good stuff in it, even though we're still only level 1. There's plenty of weapons and enchanted stuff in here. And materials, because this is a Khajiit caravan chest, so they just have all sorts of stuff that we can make good use out of, especially that gold. Alright, so once you've raided the chest of everything that you actually want to use, you're going to run back to where the carriage dropped I you off you at. Sending one letter to General going to get cold tonight. Might want to at least cover your delicate. This little brown patch right here is where the caravan is going to set up when they get here. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for them to show up. I usually like to wait until it's 8 a.m. first. After you wait, especially if it's for a long time, you have to just give it a little bit of time. Make sure they don't pop in and load up a few seconds late. I usually wait 24 hours at a time, but I have had the issue of waiting for 24 hours and as soon as they pop up, they start walking off like they're going to their next city. So 12 hours at a time. Wait a few seconds. Then do it again. And we'll just repeat this process until the caravan shows up course I won't make you guys sit through all this waiting that I'm doing with my characters fast forward through this all right so here they are didn't take that much time the one in the brighter outfit this here is going to be the one to talk to Akari so many of Take a look. So when you talk to her, what have you got for sale? If you look, oh, it looks like it's actually already reset. 
because we took all the enchanted items out of the chest it already reset because of how long we had to wait so always quick save just to make sure that nothing changes in a way that I don't want it to change while I'm running back and forth to do this so again we're just gonna go straight across this first road to the right in Dawnstar past the Jarl's Palace past this mine here we're gonna grab hold of all this good stuff if you still have your follower from doing the duplication glitch in my previous video then you can use him to carry all the extra stuff if your inventory starts to get too heavy during this process Can't so once you've raided well the chest no you'll go back to the caravan you're gonna wanna save it you can you can hard save it if you're on the previous version of Skyrim and don't have the quick save quick save feature this works on the old Skyrim as well not just the special edition so once you've saved it looks like something's happening Um, that was both unwanted and unexpected, so I'm gonna quick save or load my quick save. Alright, so to reset a merchant's inventory, like I said, you quick save right before, give them a quick tap, and then load your game. This one when you talk to her again, you see her gold is back and her inventory is completely reset from the punch. We did not have to wait two days for the inventory to reset like you usually do with merchants. Just to show you, we're going to run back over here. There's our Battle Axe of Chills. That was in there. All this good stuff. And as long as the caravan is, is sitting there, you can repeat this process over and over again to get all the loot and all the money and all the stuff you could possibly need. just repeat a quick save it punch her talk to her again now you do have to talk to her again before you go raid the chest doing the quick punch and the reload will not change the chest you have to punch her what is load it? it and then talk to her again and the dialogue is what triggers the reset So many. Take a look. Show you a quick save. Talk to her. She has only has 42 gold because I took it all. And as you can see, I've got over 2,000 gold, and I only had 10 when I got here when I carried it. So we just quick saved it. Here, let's quick save it again without our spells on. Never should have. Love tap. Load it back up. The roads of. Take a look. Talk to her. And there, all her gold is back. She's got different enchanted weapons again. And some gear. 
May the sun keep you warm. Which all that can be used for disenchanting, selling for more gold, you know, however you want to build your character. But that is how you take advantage, the best take advantage of the Khajiit Caravan chest right here in Dawnstar. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. If you have any suggestions, please feel free to leave your comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Also remember to smash that like button and subscribe so that you'll know when my new videos come out. I've got a couple of tutorial videos hitting all at one time. The link to my duplication glitch video will be in the description. The link to it and this video will be in the next tutorial video. Remember you can find me on Facebook and Twitter at TheRedRanger22. I look forward to talking to you guys. We'll see you next time.